I've always wanted to skydive, but I'm too fat. I have to do a full flight camp just to <laughs> just to uh, just to jump out of a plane. Yeah. <laughs> they said, "Is there a weight limit?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, but you can jump by yourself." I said, "Yeah, get." Yeah. <laughs> Your opponent this time around, Ty Cyril Garner, a very unique heavyweight, very light on his feet, very crafty. He fights like a middleweight. How are you going to approach Cyril Garn in this fight? Same way I approach every fight, you know. At the end of the day, they're just another human. And um, I'm going to bring uh, a fight to Cyril, which I don't think uh, a gritty fight, a dirty fight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Western Sydney style. <laughs> And uh, that's it, it's uh, on paper and uh, in in talk. Everyone, you know, let's just say this and that. But once we get uh, locked in a cage, it's only me and him, and that's that's the best time. And I'll be there to uh, if he fucks up, I'm taking his head off. <laughs> you yourself have drawn similarities between yourself and Derek Lewis, and we all saw how his fight against Cyril went last time. Do you think this is a bad matchup for you or are you fully confident heading into this one? No, I'm fully confident. I think that uh, me and Derek are two different fighters. We obviously like to knock people out, but I feel like uh, I have uh, I have a lot more skill that, uh, than, uh, than it looks like. But like I said, uh, talk is talk. I think uh, the, the proof is in the, in the pudding and I get in there and I knock out so that's just that's just how it is i remember when izzy was fighting paulo costa he ran into him in the hotel uh, maybe a couple of days before the actual fight and he was telling us i was studying paulo i noticed you know the feeling of, of his hand when he shook my hand i sort of sized him up a little bit when you uh had that face to face with cyril in front of the eiffel tower did you do something similar did you pick up on any energies that uh, might give you an insight into how he's going to fight you no, I don't really. I don't. <laughs> I don't look that far into. I, I don't look that far into things. <laughs> but uh, no, I, no. I don't look into that. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. It feels like a mental warfare for you. Um, have you seen uh, Robert Whitaker, who's fighting in the co-main event? Have you Have you spoken to him? And what are your thoughts on this matchup? Yeah, yeah. I ran into him um, yesterday and saw the crew. Uh, well, I'm a big fan of uh, Rob, you know what I mean? I think he's one of the the greatest fighters to uh, to fight in that division. And I think, you know, a win over Vittori, will, he's the only one that would, you know, have a chance to beat Izzy. But uh, he hasn't yet. And I'm sure when he gets back on the trot, um, he'll do well. And I think he's, I saw something he wants to go up to light heavyweight. I think that he'll, he'll really do well by heavyweight. He fought at 170 pounds, moved up to 185. You reckon he'd do well at 205 as well? I think he, he's a great fighter. I think he'd do well at any, any, anything. So you never know until you have a go, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> my kind of look at it. <laughs> I know he's keen on having a, a croissant. Are you guys going to link up and maybe uh, celebrate before you head back to, to Western Sydney? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's an Aussie link up, you know what I mean? We're over here in, in enemy territory, so it's going to be good. Are you going to enjoy Paris sort of after the fight or do you sort of want to get back to Western Sydney as soon as you can? Uh, yeah, I'm staying. I'm staying here for a few days after uh, my son's coming, and we've got uh, Disneyland booked and stuff like that. So he's he's into all that stuff, and then uh, then I got our visa booked. So uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll I'll be back to the area soon, guys. <laughs> give me a, give me a couple of weeks. <laughs> Disneyland, that should be fun, right? Uh, have you ever been to Disneyland? No. Nah. Never been. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that too. I was going to say, are you looking <laughs> forward to it? Myself. Yeah, I'm pumped. Uh, it's something you watched as a kid, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, yeah, I've never been. I've never been to the one in America either, so I'm really excited. Really excited. What are you most looking forward to checking out at the park? F the food. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm just thinking about food. <laughs> Get it into me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big roller coaster guy? Yeah, yeah. I love. I'm, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Oh, yeah. I love the rush. Yeah, yeah. I love the rush. I've always wanted to skydive, but I'm too fat. I have to do a full flight camp just to 
<laughs> just to uh, just to jump out of a plane. <laughs> I did skydiving once to tick it off my bucket list. You could not get me back yeah. in that little rickety plane once you more. You wouldn't do it again? Oh, man, I'm glad I did it, like, just to, you know, so I can say that I've done it. But the jump itself isn't that bad, Ty. What's bad is the 40-minute the flight up in that tiny rickety little plane that's got you thinking, holy damn, I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Well, at least you've got something on your back. It'll keep it if it goes down. Yeah, yeah. So look forward I to asked, that. I said, are you, they said, is there a weight limit? I said, yeah, yeah, but you can jump by yourself. I said, yeah, get <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, it no, it right. needs to be tandem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not that experienced. <laughs> what? I need help. <laughs> <laughs> what is the weight limit for, for skydiving? 120, I told you. I have to do a full fire camp just to jump out of a plane. Yeah, right. I said, I don't have that time. I don't got that time. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Is there French beer? Like, what, what's their local drip? I think it's like 1947 or something. Yeah. So the local one, I've been, the boys have been drinking it, but um, Any they good? said it's all right. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. They said, yeah, they said it tastes all right. So we'll definitely be giving it a whirl Saturday night. <laughs> if you are to uh, be successful, I guess, against Cyril Garn this weekend, will you be looking at... Um, Fighting for the title. I mean, we, we obviously don't know what's going on with Francis at the moment, but is that what you're going to be demanding? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the winner of this deserves a, a title shot. Uh, obviously, I haven't thought too much into it. I got a big challenge on Saturday first. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, the, my 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 you know my goal is to give my son his belt now, and uh, <laughs> so there you go. So that's on the list, and and that's not long off. So. Dad's been working hard and I want to come home with the belt, that's for sure. But I've got to uh, take care of business this weekend first. Absolutely. Before I let you go, Ty, the Penrith Panthers, your Penrith Panthers, have finished the regular season once again, top of the league, heading into the finals. Have you been keeping up with the boys and, and what's been going on? Yeah, yeah, I've been watching a little bit, you know, obviously a different time difference in Dubai, but um, they're doing their thing, even though we don't have our full team, you know what I mean? And... Uh, uh, they we will win again. You know what I mean? We'll win again. <laughs> but I'll be home for the party this time, yeah. I think. So <laughs> if they win the grand final, I'm will you be in the sheds? <laughs> I'm not missing this one. I remember they were doing uh, this a little uh, a number of years ago. The New South Wales Origin team, instead of a shoey, they were doing a, a shieldy. So or for the um, after the Origin. So maybe you could do a. I don't know how you'd fill up the the Province Summons trophy, but you could get some beer on it somehow and and, and drink it like that. We'll be feeling something up. Don't worry. <laughs> Tied to advise, I got to thank you so much for your time today, Bam Bam. We really appreciate it. All the best this weekend. You got the whole area, the whole country uh, supporting you and and Rob, and uh, we hope you both do well. Sure, Nick. I appreciate it.